Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get mods for the forest uh, VR version. I haven't seen a video on how to get mods for like the VR version of the game. And I just found out how to do it. So, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the description and copy and press click on the link that I put there. It's going to bring you to mod API. And mod API... I didn't actually know this, but first of all, they have mods for the regular version of the game, like the flat screen version for like your computer, and then they also have a VR version and a dedicated server version. They also have a bunch of other games, but for right now, we're going to click the Forest VR. They don't have too many mods, but if you press load more on step three, you're just going to click on this mod right here, and it's going to highlight, and it's going to check off all of these. So then once you did that, um, you're just going to go on to download. And it should show your download right here. And it's going to give you some steps here. So you're going to have to extract the, extract the file, start mod API, and then enable all the mods, and then start the game from mod API. I'm going to show you what to uh, do. So we're going to press OK. So, all you're going to have to do is go to show in folder. That's going to show you here. Um, I have done this three times because I couldn't figure out how to do it. So, you're going to go down uh, and go to the Microsoft Store. And then once you're there, just look up in the search bar, like uh, WinRAR or something. For me, I'm using BreeZip. It's pretty much the exact same thing. You can like, just use any extractor um, program. So, you're going to open your file. And then right here, where it shows the uh, file path, delete everything. Then, you're going to press on the mod API folder that you have. And you're just going to highlight it. And then right here, at the top, where it shows the path, just copy that. Then, go back to Breezip, or your extract or file program, I mean. And then you're just going to paste that uh, path right here, press enter, and it should bring up the mod API file that you just downloaded. Highlight that just by clicking it and press extraction or extract. Then press extract again, and it's currently extracting it. And right now it's going to bring us the same file except it's going to show mod API right here. And it's not going to be the other... Like, it, if you go into the file, it's not going to actually be the the actual program. It's going to be, like, a different thing. It's going to say mod API, but it's not going to be the actual program. So, once you do that, you're going to click on, double-click on mod API. That's going to say welcome and stuff. Press continue. And then right here, you're going to enter your game path. The way you can do that, you can either browse it or the easier way. Go to Steam. Go to the forest. And then you can either press manage and go to browse local files, but if that's not here for you, you can just click on properties, local files, and then press right here, browse. Copy this path once again at the top. Go down back into the mod API where it says enter game path. And you're just gonna and then you're just gonna paste that game path right there. Then press continue. And then if it asks you to restore the files, it's go uh, just do that. It might uh, take a, a little bit. I'm just going to minimize this. It might say Air Steam is closed, which if it does, don't press continue. You, I mean, you can, but I recommend not doing it. You're going to see that it's validating the game files, which, which it's just kind of like installing some extra files, I think. I don't know. I, I'm not too big on this stuff. So... Also, it might give you a pop-up from Steam that's validating the forced files. And this should take about one to two minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. For me, it takes a little, just like a couple minutes. And then once that's done, which should be pretty soon. Alright. It might say a couple files were... Uh, failed to validate but that's okay press close go back into here and you can press continue and then if you go to exit or wait no 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 oops 
the wrong thing. If you pressed exit, it's okay. I'll just close these extra files. Let's go back into mod API. There. And we're in. So, you where it says available mods, it should be the mods you downloaded. Checkmark all of them by innate, by, by just, you know, clicking on them. And then, it's going to uh, say start game. By the way, if you want to start this game without mods, all you have to do is just uncheck these. That's it. Now, we do want these. So, you're just going to press start game. It's going to save the files. And then, in a minute, it should um, have a pop-up for the game right here. Just choose your resolution. Uh, you can put it on windowed mode if you want. Graphics quality, you can change that. And you also select uh, diff a monitor if you have different monitors. Once you do that, you're going to press play. It's going to give you a little intro to the game. Alright. And then once you're here, once you have loaded up, just wait like five seconds just to give mod API time to uh, import those mods into the game files. And then you can just all F4 right out, close that game. And then right from there, you can, you can, um, you can, you can just like go to SteamVR and start the game. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.